Hi, I'm Stephanie from Math with Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom activities in Desmos without starting from scratch every time. So let's get started. I'm starting at desmos.com and I'm going to click under Browse Activities to access their teacher dashboard of their website. So let's get started with that. And to create new activities in Desmos, you can always click Custom and click New Activity up here. This will give you a blank activity builder to start your activities from. We'll get back to that in a little bit, but I wanna show you how you can use an activity you've already created to start it off as a template. So what I normally do when I'm in Desmos, I might usually find an old activity that I've already created that I like the organization of. Um, so let's say I'm looking at my integer addition day two, and let's say I wanted to use this template, it had the this or that, and it had some warm up questions, and it also had practices, and also their exit ticket. Um, it included a fist to five as well, and also a done early slice. So I'm like, okay, this is the template that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click the three dots on the top and click copy and edit. This will then copy the activity and create a unique copy of it. So you just want to make sure that once you have that open, you're clicking in the title so you can change it to whatever topic you're covering that day or the activity you want to cover. This will then give you a brand new copy of the whole slide deck and you can then delete slides as you see fit. You can click the X to delete slide. Um, you can also change questions. Let's say instead of this warm up question, um, I want to just do a really simple like addition question. Let's say I want to do five plus negative six and have students solve that. Um, I can just change all those slides. I can also change my this or that question. Let's say instead of peppermint or gingerbread, I'll have them say um, winter or fall and I'll keep the same template, right? And so this just makes it a lot easier in your planning so that way you're not recreating every single day. Another thing I can also do is, let's go now into a, I'm gonna go back, because I don't want this anymore. I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna discard this draft. I don't want this coffee anymore. And let's say I am actually looking at this slide deck and I'm like, I just want the this or that question. I don't want the whole assignment. I can click into whatever copy of the activities I have. So let's say I want this slide. At the really top, there's a duplicate button. So you can click that duplicate button and put it into a new activity builder. So I can go back into customs, click new activity. Let's call this my test. And I had duplicated that slide already, and I'll use my control V to just copy and paste that into my slide deck. And so that's a really easy way. If you see an activity you like, you want a part of it, maybe one or two slides, you don't want the whole thing. You can pull different activities into your activity builder. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this. The last thing is, if you are working through Desmos, the really, really cool thing about Desmos is if you go into Google, um, you can always find other activities that teachers have already created. So let's say I want to do subtracting integers and I'm looking for a Desmos slide deck. I'll click subtracting integers and I'll add the keyword Desmos. Oops, not Desmo, Desmos with an S. And there's a, so many activities that you can look through. And these are all activities that have already been created. So let's say I want this one here. And I'm looking at these problems and I'm going through them. I'm like, okay, I'm not really interested in these questions, but ooh, maybe I want to do a number line question. So I can click that duplicate button on top and then copy that into my new activity builder. And so that makes it super easy for you to not have to recreate things from scratch every single time because there's so much already created. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.